Uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel on Bushkin. Today's video is the Shah Fature 4, uh, or the Mjolnir, if you've got the camo. Uh, and it's a rip-roaring, good-looking bit of a sort, which is a lot like Thor, the Mjolnir-wielding dude that a Hemsworth plays in the movie, the cinematic franchise. Got to be careful talking about Hemsworths. My missus will come screaming up the stairs and ask me if there's one in the room. There is a big problem with this tank. There are some really good things about this tank. This is a tank that is the star of its own TV show called, geez, I wish I hadn't have spent 10,000 gold on that. And I want to tell you why I was particularly disappointed in it and why it looks great when it's doing well and looks just absolutely dog ordinary when it's not on the front foot. Um, big uh, public service announcement here. I've driven this thing a lot on PC, char. And it's outstanding. It's one of the most fun tanks to drive. It's an auto loader, and the armor profile works a whole lot more than it does on here. The model is a little bit different too. It's got that crazy kind of oscillating turret with seven degrees of gun depression, but it's very, very easy to get shots off. And the DPM is incredible, both here and on PC. But the thing on PC that's really good about it is it's an auto loader. So, you can use the mobility that it has, and it's got such good mobility. Like, its mobility is absolutely elite tier for a T9 tank. Um, or for any tank, in fact. You can use that mobility to get positions and then dump rounds. Much like a bat chat, okay? But this this isn't an autoload, and we've seen a lot of this with tanks coming into Blitz that are autoloaders in PC that come into Blitz or, or are light tanks in PC. They come into Blitz and they're no longer lights or autoloaders. They're now like a special kind of blend of these two things. Think of um, the Bat Chat, for instance. When it, it, it came in, it was a medium on PC with like, it had like eight shells at the start of it or something crazy and they cut that down. And it's been rebalanced all over the place. Um, and it's got, a, you know, a different, different thing going on on blitz than it does on the pc client so the tanks are never going to be the same when they got bought across and that's it's a bit sad because this thing like i said it looks great when things are going well because it is very high dpm when you've got it maxed out you can get 3146 dpm out of this running provisions with the uh gun rammer but look you take a lot of damage its armor profile is, it's a turd. Uh, you can get pinned frontally by tier seven mediums. That's not good. Uh, hell, you can get pinned frontally by a lot of tier six tanks. Um, you can get pinned by yourself with HE in the ass. Like that's not good for a medium tank, right? That's a dangerous thing to have happening to you. And you're gonna eat a lot of damage as I, Salute Camiro here. He's going for his RAS. Come on, Cam. Get that seven kill. Knock it out of the park, my buddy. This is an absolute unicum of a vehicle. And even then, I'm telling you, even then, when people decide to just trade with you, you're screwed. Um, the Leopard PTA is a tank that screams Charfiture 4. It's exactly the same kind of play style. Once people decide to trade with you, you're in big trouble. I'm going to tell you. Look, I'm going to show you. A, I'm going to show you a game here. This is mines. Now, the problem with this tank is I can't push this. I'm in a tier 10 game. I, nearly all my games in this tank are tier 10, and it's so frustrating because that's the story at tier 9. You end up in tier 10 games. So, I'm also facing a bat chat, and it's got the same kind of mobility profile, but I can't outspot him. He has light tank camo and it ruins my world that he is down here i wanted to be aggressive i wanted to push bottom i can't there's the bat chat here right there's a 183 behind him there's an st1 in spawn and that illustrates something really important about this game any tank can go and sit in spawn and snipe any tank in the game and that's basically what i ended up having to do with this tank a lot of time and it's like the last refuge 
of bad tanks and bad gameplay. I can't go the hill. I'll get destroyed. I will get absolutely rinsed. If I had light tank camo, I would have thought about it. I don't have light tank camo. I can't afford to get spotted. I can't get shots out here. I can't push the heavy route because I will get absolutely rinsed again. So I'm stuck because you can't push in this tank. Every shot that hits you is going to pen. If you get two bounces in a game and 10 shots fired at you, go and absolutely buy a lottery ticket because you have killed it in the RNGs of stakes. So I'm stuck. I'm stuck. And people are going to start screaming at me in the team and it's like, man, I don't know what I'm meant to do here. I've been playing for like 50,000 plus games. I'm pretty experienced. I've won a lot of games in tanks. I've played with all kinds of really good players. And if I push that bat chat in the corner, I'm dead. If I try and go towards the hill, I'm dead. Like, if I look back in retrospect, I should have just sniped at the back. Our, our Fosh pushes up here and then just stops. And I'm like, I'll push with you, bro, but he's not going to push with me. And it's just, uh, I should have pushed. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't see any good options here. And you're going to see me get spotted in a sec. And I realize that that's the bat chat crossing. And because he has light tank camouflage, he can have the crap armor, the oscillating kind of turret, and he can still make things happen. Look, the, people are going to do something. The Sheridan died on the hill. It's his fault, not my fault. He had no patience. He kept getting spotted. He kept pushing out and trying to take shots. He died. Not my problem. And I'm like explaining to him at first. Uh, there, ST1 is in spawn. He's going to do more damage than me this game because he's absolutely... Yeah. I, I, And this is what is so frustrating about this vehicle, right? You just can't push. You are so team-reliant. And I realize that that's me being spotted because the bat chat is crossing. And voila, there's your bat chat. So I'm leaving. But it's all over. Like, there's nothing I can do here. And there never has really been anything I can do here. If it was a tier 8 game, then maybe you wouldn't have 183 sitting at the back. I'm going to eat 900 damage in as a HE shell from that E4. And there's no surprises there. The Fosh is going to go around the corner. I mean, it's all over. But that that's a, a pen straight through. Anyone that uses auto-aim can nail this tank. Like, it's not even funny. I'm running a different um, I'm running a different loadout than most people would be running uh, here's the 900 in the ass um, I'm running it with the dispersion mod to take it all the way down and the uh, bullet velocity mod the, the shell speed velocity buff because you need to snipe it's already very very good it feels like at on the move damage um, what it's not good at is taking any kind of shells or being fired at or yeah yeah it just the armor profile is so ass and it needs light tank camouflage it's screaming out for light tank camo this is another one like you've got to understand with this tank every good drive you wake out you come out of it you're like just drenched in sweat because you've had to work so hard for what a lot of tanks you know don't have to worry about. Now, you'll see there's a T-49 there. There are three TDs in this game lined up behind me. I am tapping the map. The ho -ri is like, go and get that Hornet. He's an idiot. I'm looking at the map. Look how many tanks are spotted. I'm like, we don't have any heavies here. There's no heavies on the heavy route. They're heavies. There's still an E-75 missing. The ho -ri's like, medium tank? Question mark? NZ tankera? You, look, what is he doing? And I even say to him, Get light. Just go and get the light, he says. Go and fight a HE spamming T-49 that will pen you for 600 with an E-75 next to him. And this is what you're meant to do. Useless, he says. It is so frustrating. You then have to look at the map and you've got to use your mobility and your speed. You cannot get in trades. If you make trades in this tank... You are going to die. 
I'm running the hit point buff. 1,696 hit points, right? Look, there's an E75 and a T49 there. You can't isolate tanks. You can't go one-on-one. -on -one. You might have great DPM, but if they are HE firing tanks, you're going to get hit every time. And if they are not HE firing tanks, if they're, say, AP tanks, you're going to get hit every time. No one's using Promo on this thing, unless you're talking about Hesh. And this is just, it's such a frustrating drive. You have to be so on the money with this tank to get the most out of it. I have, I'll show you a mastery game after it, this one, which was a really good game. And I want to point out when we're playing that one, just how much effort I put into it. Look how long it takes me to get a shot off in this freaking tank that's a penning shot. Like four minutes, 32 in. It's got great DPM. We're using the mobility. We're making that work for us. But you can't force the pace in this tank. You are a support tank or you are a sniper. And for 10,000 gold, that's like, really? 10,000 gold? Um, that's a lot of money. It's an awful lot of money. Uh, you're going to eat that 450. That's all you can do. And then you stop. You have to be so cautious with your hit point pool. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I just wanted to have light tank camo. And it just needs light tank camo. Drop 200 DPM off it. Because 3140 DPM is massive. Drop 200 DPM off it. Give it light tank camouflage. Right? And you've got a really viable tank. It keeps ending up against T92E1s, T49s, Sheridans. I mean, that's your standard tank in these kind of battles that you face. And when you're in tier 10, you get T62As, Leopard 1s. Bloody, like, there's so many good tanks that you're playing against. And you are getting rinsed constantly, right? And yet, you get idiots like this Ho Re who are like, take your no armor tier 9 medium with 1600 hit points and go and solo a light tank and an E75. Hat tip for this epic shot. How about that? What do you think of them apples? Watch this at the end. Ho re. GG's except medium tank. What? What are you talking about? Watch this. It's just like seriously mate just go and learn to play. Go and learn to play and this is what you're gonna have to face. So many people don't know what they're doing out there, like this guy. Except MT, medium tank. Guess who did the top damage in the game? Four minutes and 30 in, we had nothing. We did three and a half K nearly in that short space of time because it does have DPM. And did we out damage our Ho Re? Yeah, sure we did. 500 hit, hit points difference. Welcome to 45% genius level. Like this is what they do. They just talk so much bollocks. Let me show you a... Um, good on your New Zealand tanker. Learn to play. Um, this is another T10 game. This is a mastery game. And watch how passive I am. Watch how slow I am to commit. Because you've got a TVP there. A TVP will basically clip you out, right? It, a TVP, there are situations where one clip will finish you. And watch, I get my shot, and I'm just backing this thing up. Now, it has a low profile, it has outstanding mobility, and it has seven degrees of gun depression. You can make that work. But my God, at no point in this game am I willing to give up my hit points until the very, very end. I spend so much time setting this up. And if you are not a player that excels at playing light tanks, and has a lot of experience at playing tanks without hit point pools or without armor, then I suggest you don't even consider buying the Fosh. Now, watch this. I'm not pushing down there. Everything, the, the best axiom I can give you for this tank is this. Never do something at 10 feet that you can do at 300 feet, okay? This is not a tank that you take forward lightly. You take this tank forward only when you know where everyone is on the enemy team and you can account for the reload of the tank in front of you. you don't push into a clipper and just go, I'm just going to trade this guy out. You might see a tank, you reset your camo. You don't push in just because everyone else is. You wait for your shots, 
There you go. And then you set it up again, right? We've got two kills. Four minutes, 50 to go. And we're still just resetting camo and driving around and waiting and being patient. If you're impatient in this tank, you're going to die. And you're not just going to die um, if you're unlucky. You're just going to die. Everyone will smash you. And once people realize how bad the armor profile is and that they can, that it's not a new tank, and that they can just basically rinse you, you're going to die a lot um, to people spamming HE. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Tier 10 games. There's a 183 there. You cannot crest. You're basically making hit points of everyone else's hit point pool, taking no damage. But we saw on mines, when the team doesn't go forward, when the team doesn't give you opportunities, you can't spot your own targets and feed for yourself. You are reliant on other people spotting. I'm not doing the spotting for my team. I'm doing the spotting for me. Okay, and as soon as I see a tank that I don't like, I'm backing this thing up. I'm hiding. Absolutely hiding. No way am I going out there. I'm still full hit points. Three kills, 3,000 damage. And I'm looking for opportunities. And when I can't, trying to just keep that T30 proximity spotted. Wondering if the 183 is still there. Where's the mouse? Anytime you're in a situation where you have to decide between trading, as in taking damage to put damage in, and relocating, take the relocating. In a lot of tanks, you don't do that. Like a 62A, you'll go, I can take two shots here and get this angle right. There's a chance I get a, a bounce on the turret or I can juke a shot. You're not juking a shot. I mean, this is for gods, this tank. If you want to be really, really good at it, it is literally for the super duper elite. If you're just a standard player, like a 50% player, don't buy this tank. If you're sub 50, don't buy this tank. Like... Dear God, it's not going to be a lot of fun for you. See this? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I know there's a mouse down there. I'm going around the corner. We're not We're not playing that. Even though that's a one kit point tank. Because if I go out there and the 183 is looking at me, and he should be, the 183 can take 1,500 hit points off me with one shot. Like, oh, and a hat tip too. If you're going out in front of 183s and you know they're there, go sideways. Because their hash rounds might hit your tracks and that'll save you. Because if they... If you go frontally, you're done. You're absolutely done. I see the 183 over there, so I'm like, okay, I can get stuck into this scent. Jaeger is in a little bit of trouble. Just got to clear this scent. So we've got the scent, the 183, and then down to the mouse. Stuff. I mean, this isn't the greatest drive we've ever seen, but how much care is going into this drive? How much how much awareness of the map around me? Like, how much game knowledge and game sense am I putting in here? And I'm going to nearly screw it up with this mouse because I'm very, very aware that if I ram him, I'm losing all my hit points. And because of that, I run into the side and then I just get a little bit out of position. But I mean, I wanted the mastery, so I, I was never going to take the easy way out, which was to wait for everyone else. Um, you see how I'm just letting him nudge me gently. I don't want to, don't want to get wrecked. I'm really trying to get to his side and side hug here. Like if you're a lower, lower win rate player who hasn't got a lot of experience in blitz, doing stuff like this is not exactly what I would call advisable. Um, mobility is what you got on the mouse as usual. And that's a that's a mastery badge with 4,300 damage, and I worked my ass off for it. And you deserve it. If you get a 1,500 XP game in this thing, you deserve it. That's it. That's the tank. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a good time. I hope you're uh, all kicking goals and in making life a wonderful place to be. Uh, me personally, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm having a good time. I'm uh, off to Lithuania for something. I can't talk about it. Till next time. Look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.